Minnesota Public Radio is sponsored by Palo Dent Denture Adhesive Cream. Let's face it, old age sucks, so make sure those pearly dentures are secure and supreme. Use Palo Dent Adhesive Cream. Coffee and cigarettes. <sighs> Welcome back to Coffee and Cigarettes. My name is Liptar McTouche, and today is going to be a controversial episode because we will be discussing the abortion debate. But I'm very thankful for our guest here. He's been in famous movies like Tombstone and The Big Lebowski. Sam Elliott, welcome to the show. Well, thanks a lot for having me on your public radio show. You know, public radio's been around a long time and has never changed. You could say Minnesota Public Radio has been set in its ways, like a certain beer brewed in Golden, Colorado since 1873. Coors, the banquet beer. Well, Sam, we pride ourselves in delivering consistent content to our listeners. And uh, what, is, what is this banquet beer you speak of? I, I normally don't drink beer. I drink wine or that new truly sparkling water alcohol stuff. Son, you may have been born with the Y chromosome, but it sounds like you drink the alcohol marketed for females. Truly hard sparkling water may be brewed with water, but I know it's not made with the fresh sewage water from all the ski resort restrooms in the Rocky Mountains, like the best beer in America. Coors, the banquet beer. Well, let's uh, get to our topic of the day, which is going to be about abortion rights. Are you pro-choice, or are you on the side of pro-life, Mr. Elliot? You could say I support the right to choose. To choose one of the oldest beers in America that has stood the test of time since 1873. Stubborn in its ways like the Ponderosa Pines of the Rocky Mountains, its recipe has never changed from using the urine of goats and antelopes of the Rocky Mountains. I choose Coors, the banquet beer. Okay, so Sam is pro-choice then. I guess I'll have to bring in the arguments for a pro-life, but as you know here on Minnesota Public Radio, we are all pro-choice. You could say I'm pro-life. You see, the life of every person is never easy. Some days are hard, and you need a little relief from that rat race of life. So why not drink a beer whose great taste has a half-life of infinity? because it is brewed from the melted liquid of the sulfur mines of the Rocky Mountains. What's that smell from the beer, you ask? That's the smell of life. The smell of Coors, the banquet beer. Sam, you just said you were pro-choice. You need to pick a side in this debate. Otherwise, how are we going to discuss the arguments for abortion or pro-life? Son, you gotta realize that when you're strong-willed and set in your ways, and you never change, then we got a beer for you. This is a beer that can make the alligators of the Rocky Mountains purr and drop the panties of all the women around you. No other beer can compare to this beer. This beer that tastes like a 10-pack of used diapers. Coors, the banquet beer. Mr. Elliot, there are no alligators of the Rocky Mountains. This beer is golden like the city it's brewed in, Golden, Colorado. This beer, brewed from the finest manure a Rocky Mountain panda can excrete. This beer is never number two. Coors, the banquet beer. Okay, that's enough for all this. Um, I'm afraid that's going to be all the time we have for today. I'd like to thank Sam for coming in to discuss this hot topic with us and join us next time on Coffee and Cigarettes, although you probably still won't give a damn.